Today we're going to talk about latency and running sounds through outboard gear. I don't have too much in the way of outboard gear, but on occasion I like to run a sound through a guitar pedal, which I have many of, or an external compressor. This is going to be total FL Studio geekery, but here goes. So the premise here is I'm taking a sound from inside FL Studio and running it through outboard gear and then back into my interface. We're going to run this experiment and see what we end up with in terms of latency and those kind of things. So I already did it all. I'll just talk about it here. So just to start, we have a 256 sample buffer length. The latency input is 316 samples. The output is 534 samples. The output plus plugins is 534 samples. So I had FL Studio put markers on everything that's going to help give us a constant in this experiment. So the original hi-hat pattern is this. Now what we have to do is see how this is aligned with the markers. So I just pulled that one up. This is the original sample from inside FL Studio. It hasn't passed through anything yet. It hasn't left FL Studio. It's not quite on the grid. So we're going to measure how far it is from the marker to the start of the sample. It doesn't have to be exact, but we're going to get pretty close. By the way, if you're wondering how to determine samples in Edison, you can do minutes, seconds, milliseconds, bar, beat, tick, auto, or samples. So I have it selected to samples. It reads over here, 41 samples. So that's the original measurement. After we run this through the outboard gear, we have to subtract 41 samples from everything because this is the untouched constant. That's 41 samples away from the marker. The next one I did was with latency compensation on. Now, if you're wondering about latency compensation, latency compensation is when you're doing disc recording. If you go in the mixer, hit this little arrow over here, hit disc recording. And right here is latency compensation. So right now, latency compensation is on. We're going to go see how far this one was away from the marker. I'm getting as close as I can. OK. So now the length away from the marker is 93. Now remember, this is with latency compensation on. Remember, we have to subtract 41 samples. So 93 minus 41 is 52. So what latency compensation does is FL Studio is cutting off the reported latency from the beginning of the clip. So we ended up with 52 samples. The next one is with latency compensation off. And what we're going to do is we're going to get inside and see how far that one is away from the markers. We're doing an approximation. 938 samples. Remember, we have to subtract 41 samples, and that leaves us with 897 samples. If you're recording audio with latency compensation on or off in the playlist, you might have to slide it a little bit left. And if you want to see how these actually line up all together, the original, a little bit away from the marker here or the grid line, this is the latency compensation on, and still it's a little late. This is with latency compensation off way far removed from the original. Okay, what does this mean for you? If you're recording through outboard gear and things aren't lining up the way you hoped they would, you might have to move your audio a little bit left. The numbers did surprise me a little bit. In relation to our original reported input and output, I think you can draw your own conclusions. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I was curious enough to measure it. So there it is. Hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you soon.